If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I have a lot of news to go over. I have Team of the Week to go over. I have some upcoming stuff to go over. A lot of stuff to go over today, honestly. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the naughty bell, give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, comment down below. Let me know which is your favorite Team of the Week player, as well as, as, well as if you're excited for Season 2. And guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy and enter in some NFL and mostly pretty much every sports lineups, head on down below to Underdog Fantasy. I will have a link and a code for you down below, which you can, if you use the code, you get up to a free 100 bucks in your first deposit. Pretty much some free money. You know, Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football, always some of the best days to run some of those lines as well because it's just a fun night to watch with incentive. That's about it, guys. And of course, you need coins down down below as well. But let's get into this, guys. So... Weekend League Rewards. Weekend League Rewards are targeted to release later today, Tuesday, November 30th, around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, as per usual. More details on November Monthly Weekend League Rewards later this week. So there's going to be the Blitz Program Currenting version, which a lot of people were wondering about their extra Blitz Bits, their extra Blitz Tickets. So one Blitz Bits converting to one training. So if you have a 10,000 Blitz Bits in there, you now have 10,000 training. One Blitz Ticket is equal to 0.5 training. So two Blitz Tickets equals one training. Now that's kind of weird, actually, because... Blitz tickets took a vast amount of Blitz bits to get, so wouldn't the conversion rate be double on those? I hope they fixed that. that. doesn't really make sense, but that's it for that. Bo Jackson, 30k bits equals 15k tickets, so I'm guessing that's a quick sell. I don't really know. Players quick sell for training based on the overall training equivalent currently in the game, so if you have a 92 overall Blitz player, he sells for Blitz tickets or Blitz bits, he will now convert to the 92 overall training value. No, you spend 600 Blitz Bits and you get a Clutch Pack and 300 Blitz Tickets. All right. Next, guys, Game Day All-Stars targeting to receive their updates on Friday and December 3rd. Now, if they receive their updates any sooner, we'll put players in the line. I don't like that we didn't get these to December 3rd. I believe in the past we got them quicker. And here's the thing, right? These players are only 92, 93 overalls, right? 91 overalls, depending on what they got. These players aren't even meta cards to begin with. Why would they delay them another week or so, right? Like, we should be getting these cards right away to be usable. That's just my take on it. Team chemistries, secondary positions. Perry Nickerson, power up, updated with Green Bay Packers team team. Uh, chemistry, that's pretty cool. Roger Craig, power up, updated with the fullback secondary uh, position. Season 2, ultimate pass. More details on when the season 2 for the ultimate pass will refresh. So, guys, season 2 is coming. Now, it says later this week. It says more details on when we'll refresh. Like, okay, so we're, we should know later this week when we're getting it. So, I'd have to assume we're getting it next week, more or less. If, if later this week they'll tell us when it's refreshing, we'll probably get it a week or in a week and a week and a half from that day. So that's pretty exciting as well. Season two is coming, guys. We've had season one for what felt like forever. Now let's just do some quick math here. They said season two would be every 90 days. So let's see if it actually lasted that long because that was a long 90 days. Okay, so let's see. We got the game. When did the game come out? August, like August 12th, right? August 11th. Oh, that was EA Access, I guess, right? So would that count? I don't know. Let's just count it. One, two, three, four. That's a month. Let's say to the 11th, to the 11th, so that's 1, 2, 11, that's 3. Yeah, we're, it looks like we're well over 90 days, at least a little bit over. So they did have a little bit longer. Now, Season 2 is going to be fun because it's going to introduce a whole new slew of rewards, like how we had the free Kittle and the um, the free the free defensive tackle. I'm forgetting his name right now. I, don't know if, I think it was Damon Harrison. And uh, new packs, new power passes, just so much new stuff for you to grind out for. Maybe like you like how there was a record mirror pack. I wonder what the next pack will be. Just a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Season two is going to open up a whole new world of Madden, right? A lot of new stuff, a lot of updated rewards, um, a whole new set into the game, right? Like just a whole new good way to pull forward. Maybe some new solos. That's about it for season two. We will know more about that later this week. I'm assuming more details means the date as well as what will be in it, or at least some reveals, right? The first lower end team of the week player that will be getting a plus one slash a new card is John Franklin Myers. Left end for the Jets, so I don't know what he did exactly, but he must have had to do a decent game because they did win. They did beat the Texans, so he must have done something. 85 power move, really nothing else. He's a low card. We know that we know the deal. Jalen Waddle gets a card now. That will be a plus one in his existing card, which have a rising star card like a 90-91. So that's gonna go plus one on him, which is pretty cool. Jalen Waddle was actually pretty fast to begin with, so the plus one is definitely pretty cool for him as well. Uh, route running wise, catching wise, you're not gonna be insane. He's still a lower overall, not gonna be a meta card yet, but. The plus one is cool. I wish he had a higher card already, but we're working on it. You know, he's still a rookie, still, still making some plays. Next, we have Rajul Douglas. I think he actually had a pick six. Yeah, he had a pick six this weekend. 
I forget who they played off Stafford. He picked six Stafford, I'm pretty sure. He had a really, really, really good week, I suppose. You know, big game, big NFC game, and he helped, he clutched up there. Uh, this card's probably going to be just a regular card, probably not a plus one. He's going to get an 90 speed powered up, 93 Excel. Pretty decent card. I mean, it's not, it's nothing great. It's not really great. I mean, it's not going to be useful for most people. You got Kendrick Bourne for the Patriots. He had a pretty big day as well. Had that touchdown to start the game. I forget what else he did after that, but I know he started off pretty, pretty hot. Uh, powered up on 90 speed. He's just a well-rounded card. He's really not good at all. Not a great card. I mean, this is the week of plus ones. Waddle was good though. Leonard Fournette. Again, Leonard Fournette, same thing. 91 speed, 92 excel. No catching, no change of direction, really no agility. Great tackle doesn't hit 90 either. He's not really a great card. This isn't this isn't the best week of lower ones. Darius Leonard, another one that's not gonna be great. Only 87 speed, can't pass rush. That's like what we're saying about those stand up linebackers. You like stand him up at the outside spot, but he can't pass rush. He can barely run stuff. Not that fast. Patrick Sertain, of course, went over last night. So the heroes are actually pretty good. The other low cards are pretty bad. Sertain's the first good one really of the week. 94 speed powered up with 95 man, 95 press, 94 zone, 96 jumping. Gonna be 95 overall. Gonna be 94 agility. 88 play rack is catching. Everything else behind the card's pretty good as well. I just I'd assume. The card's good. And of course, he had the he had the rising star card as well, like Waddle, so that's a nice upgrade for him. Um Seth Joyner, outside linebacker, similar to Darius Leonard, but slightly better. He's like a stand-up outside linebacker. He can run stuff, but he can't pass rush. So unless he has a, unless they give him a really good zone or catching, and even then with the way this Madden plays, it may not be useful. Uh, another stand-up linebacker. This just this really isn't the best we get team of the week, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. The speed's decent. It's not great because like, you can get a, like a Devin White or one of those stand-up linebackers like Luke Keekley, who's going to be significantly faster with better zone, better block shed, better tackle, better everything. And he, they don't pass rush either, but that's fine. Actually, Keekley, I think, can kind of pass rush, to be honest with you. Then, guys, finally, we have Doug Baldwin. Now, this is like a guy who is not spectacular, but he's not bad. Like, he's going to fit the scheme of every other wide receiver in the game. Like, they all have 93 speed with above 90 route running with above knee catching. He fits in perfectly, but it's not a, it's not the biggest name. And, of course, he's not taking a step forward, right? Like, he's not bringing us a new ability. He's not bringing us a new speed threshold. He's not bringing us, you know, a 99 stat. He just kind of fits in. He fits in. Good card, nonetheless, you know, no, no, nothing to write home about. Out of all the cards here, I'd say for today, we really only got two good ones. I'd say Patrick Sertain and Doug Baldwin are really it. None of the... And Jalen Waddle, I like. But that's about it. This was kind of an underwhelming team of the week, if I'm being completely honest. Hopefully, next week's a better week. You know, we can't have them every week. There's got to be one bad one eventually. Always has been like that. It is what it is. A lot of good cards already got upgrades, so they're at a point where they have to take a little... You know, give some other guys some breaks. Well, guys, better for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, comment down below. If you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, my code and link down below will give you guys up to a free 100 bucks on your first deposit. So make sure you do check that out. And if you need help with that, DM me on Twitter or comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.